Why take one vacation with the family when you could take all of them? With Royal Caribbean, you don't just go to the beach. You visit a private island and race down the tallest water slide in North America. You don't just go for a road trip. You ATV and zip line through the jungle. You don't just go somewhere new. You rappel down waterfalls and discover ancient temples. Because this isn't just any vacation. This is all the vacations. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. It's only a kick. A jump. A block. It's only a serve. It's only a tackle. A run. It's only for the fans. After all, it's only pressure. You got this. Adidas. Age of Radio. Hey, everybody. This is Steve. I just want to let you know that for all the latest on our podcast, uh, hit us up at EILF Movies. That's everything I learned from movies on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, we're also on Patreon if you want to check that out. But our homepage is with the Age of Radio Network at ageofradio.org slash everything I learned from movies. And if you're looking for some amazing art, check out my wife's Etsy page at untidyvenus.etsy.com. All kinds of great stuff there. Also, follow us at PodCartFest, that's P-O-D-C-A-R-T-F-E-S-T, for our periodic art and podcasting festival that we're going to be hosting. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool. Check it out. So yeah, on that note, let's get to the show. Everything I learned from movies Helps to make life a little bit groovy With a one last plot holes a gratuitous movies It's time to get busy with your friend Stephen Izzy And this is Everything I Learned From Movies. And tonight... Oh, tonight. Uh, we are continuing April with 2013's Mr. Go. Yeah! <laughs> oh, but babe, we Same. are alone for this one. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank God I don't have to wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, babe, was this your first time watching this movie? No, you and I watched this a few months ago. That's right. Big shout out to uh, uh, Bobby from the Grind Bin yeah. podcast. Uh, gosh, I guess about three or four years ago, he mentioned it during a uh, ape movie draft that we did. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, go on. What's this Mr. Go <laughs> thing? And I guess ape was part of that, too, that we mm-hmm. did last week. Yeah, so yeah, shout out to Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys, and if you have ape or monkey movies that you think we should do and aren't in our catalog, 
Hit us up. I say like, we have a pretty extensive list for future Aprils, but yeah. we're always looking for new ones. It's uh, Steve's always worried. It's almost a spinoff podcast we could do. <laughs> Steve's, Steve always gets worried we're going to start running out of ape movies, and then years like this happen where yeah. they're about to release a shit ton yeah. that we know about. Like, nope, technically an ape movie, right? <laughs> Wasn't even advertised as such. But uh, babe, I guess before we get into this one, I don't know about you, <gasps> I'm a little thirsty. I'm still sober. Uh, which one do you want to do first? Let's do the Negra. Well, to start off, we have from Cerveza Modelo, their Negro edition. <gasps> Negro Modelo. That's right. Medium bodied lager with slow roasted caramel malts brewed for a rich, smooth taste. And Steve, I do believe this is a Meritzen, a German style beer? Yeah, I don't know why they would have something like that in South America, but. <laughs> Why would South America make the one of the truest uh, German-style beers you can find? I don't know, but this one's 5.4% alcohol by volume. So, Woo! Uh, hold on, taking the uh, little the gold, gold foil, foil off. off the top here. Yeah. Making a goddamn mess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my top. Oh, his top. Nice. And just... But just trying to make sure I don't get any fucking gold schlager in your <laughs> in your pour here. <laughs> it would be nickel schlager, and you know it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, worse, I think. And the pour. That is yeah. a beautiful oh, brown oh. beverage. Very effervescent. Beautiful. And khaki. Happy. Yeah, beautiful khaki colored head. Oh, Ooh. that smell! This yeah. this actually is not light struck. Yeah, there's little like roasty notes. Yeah, this smells like a Meritzen, roasty, caramely, little biscuity. Steve's got in for the sip. Oh man, that is not bad at all. It's amazing yeah. how much better it is when it's fresh, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Latin community of Utah, for having a, a lot of turnover with your Negro Modelo. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, nice, yeah. smooth. This easily like an all-day drinking kind of beer if you really oh, want to. I drink the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, but babe. Steve. Mr. Go. Mr. Go! You might be wondering, what the hell is that? Uh, it's a story about the first gorilla to play baseball in the Korean Baseball League. Um, not based on a true story, guys, so don't worry about it. But it comes from writer-director Young Hwa Kim. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, you might know him from directing such movies as O oh Brothers. <gasps> oh Brothers. 200 Pounds Beauty. Woo! Little Penguin Pororo's Racing Adventure. <laughs> this, along with the gods, colon, the two worlds, along with the gods, colon, the last 49 days, and last year, 2023's The Moon. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> All these sound great. And starring Song Dong Yu as Sung Chung Su. Who's she, Steve? Uh, it's actually the agent, so it's a guy. Hey, that's right. Hey, <laughs> it's a gentleman. Uh, he has over seventy credits and starred in dozens of Korean television shows, like My Girlfriend Is a Gu- uh, Gumi Ho. Uh, babe, what's a Gumi Ho? What's I don't know. Oh, I wasn't a Pokemon. It's a the Nine Tailed Fox. Oh, that's Nine Tails. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Living by Love, Gap Dong, It's Okay, That's Love, Reply, <laughs> I'm sorry, Reply 1997, Reply 1994, and Reply 1988. I don't know if they're like uh, pre prequels for each other or something, mm. I don't know. But, uh, and also, Hua Rang, colon, The Poet Warrior Youth. Alrighty then. Yeah. <laughs> and Jiaosu as Wee Wee. Or, I'm sorry, Wei Wei. Who's, uh, who's she, Steve? Oh, well, she played young Mulan in uh, to, uh, Mulan colon Rise of a Warrior yeah. 2009. This and other Chinese stuff. That's all I got. There you go. <laughs> and there's also lots of Korean names. Uh, go ahead and look it up in IADB if you want to try to pronounce them. But yeah, it's a Korean movie, guys. Um, and you may be wondering, where can we find it? Ladies, gentlemen, you can find it on Tubi, Amazon Prime, Freebie, Sling TV, 
And babe, I think I've told you this a couple times. Uh, when I wake up in the mornings, you know, five or six in the a.m., and I turn on our Samsung TV for whatever reason. About every fourth time I turn on the TV is some scene from Mr. Go playing on. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Midnight Pulp channel or wh- wh- whatever channel we have it set on, though. It's it's on there like a quarter okay. of the time. I did not know that. Yeah. I swear I told you, but I probably told you like first thing in the morning. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Mr. Gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, we start off with... Well, okay, we, we get all of the backstory here in the beginning. Because uh, we basically find out there's this 15-year-old ringmaster way, way... And uh, they're, like, doing a story about her or whatever. But then, like, you may be wondering, why is a 15-year-old running a goddamn circus? Well, we get the story of uh, when she was a baby. She was raised with this gorilla, Ling Ling, who's part of the circus. Um, And as a baby, she taught Ling Ling to, you know, talk. That's right. We're going to have a talking ape, guys. No. Uh, no, But, but, you know, sign language and just understand her language and stuff. Not necessarily talk back. But, you know, they they have a, a form of communication between the two of them. Um, and of course, they taught this gorilla to play baseball because, well, even they admit baseball is not huge in China. No. Because they're in China uh, for the circus. Sorry, I, sh- I should mention that too. They're in China. Wei Wei is in China. Ling Ling, China. Those aren't Korean names, but yeah, you know. The, uh, it's because uh, Grandpa loved baseball. Oh, that's right, yeah. Grandpa, who, who was the ringmaster when she was a baby, obviously, or whatever. But uh, Grandpa also has a gambling problem. He does, but do you know why Grandpa likes baseball, Steve? Because of the gambling? Because it's the only game where you begin oh, at home and you end at home. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be the, the the center of this movie, I think. <laughs> you leave home, but you return home. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so all that's going on, and we see her, like, you know, getting older, blah, blah, blah. And then they bring in this new gorilla, Lai Ting. Um, and, but this one was like raised in captivity or like bred in captivity or something. And they're, oh, no, you can't do that. They're angry all the time. You can't teach them anything. Blah, blah, blah. Like that kind of stuff. Right. But then real tragedy strikes that May 12th earthquake. Ooh. I think it was like May 12th, uh, 2012 or something. I don't know. I, I'd have to look it up, but yeah, it was a pretty, pretty big one that I guess hit China. Um, and yeah, the uh, the gra- grandpa he died uh, when like a building collapsed or something, and uh, Wei Wei she almost did too. But Ling Ling, being the courageous gorilla that he is, uh, was like you know li- you know lifting up yeah. all the rubble and stuff, and found her. And there's like a, like all this kind of like media coverage about it and stuff like that. But uh, but you know with grandpa dying, he was indebted to uh, what was it called like like Tianjin loans or uh, changing finance or something yeah. like that but Ting-ging. it was ba- basically like the mafia because they sent like l- this yeah. little loan shark guy with all his thugs or whatever after him eventually he's great by the way he is his pretty good is he's amazing he's <laughs> yeah i was trying to think of uh who he's fucking remind me of watching uh watching this like like just his, his kind of humor and everything it was just kind of <laughs> shit what was the well, there's somebody like that, like the stunt woman. Yeah, that I was, was kind of over the top, just exaggerated, this... like uh, like borderline kabuki kind of. Yeah, this is like an Asian type villain where, like, he's gaslighting the shit out of everybody. Like, I put myself out on this loan, and <laughs> oh, you just don't even want to pay me back. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll talk about it. But when he's like, look. I gave you the money. You just need to pay us back. That's that's how a loan works. He's like crying, pleading, I you kind of pleading to this fifteen-year-old girl and her child army who's been <laughs> like fighting against him. And he's like, look, I'm just trying to do the right thing here. It was hilarious. Your grandpa like died instead of paying back the loan. Come on, I just isn't, need this money back. Fair. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> We'll get to it, but also after gets his ass beat by the ape. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's there's a couple times where it's like, shouldn't he be dead? <laughs> Everyone should be dead. A- in this several it's, times over. Th- like there's violence in this, but it's I don't know. It's right on that border of like over the top cartoony, but also like oh yeah, yeah. that guy got fucked up and is bleeding a bit. There's, you know, <laughs> there's violence and there's some bruising, but it's not like entrails or guts. It's not gory. Excuse mm-hmm. me, the dog ring. Yes, master, coming. 
Yeah. So, uh, so Wei Wei's trying to save the circus, but you know she's fifteen years old in China, um, right? And her and a girl. Yeah, and a girl, and her grandpa left her uh, six million yuan in debt. Uh, it's about a million dollars U.S. Um, also, she has an army of child orphans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, gotta yeah, feed she, those orphans. You gotta feed them. Yeah, and oh. two giant ass apes. Yeah, and, and okay, and I'm sorry. During the opening montage thing, we see that uh, Ling Ling can like juggle and stuff. But he, uh, they also have a little trick where you know she does a little whipping thing and he hits baseballs like just knocks them the fuck out yeah. or whatever like every time, right? And so around this time, uh, this agent, uh, this agent Sung from the Korean Baseball League comes around. I guess he saw uh, a little documentary piece or whatever on the news or something, and he's just you know coming to check it out. And we, yeah, we get this whole thing where it's like, you know, it, it like cuts between him checking out the ape like in China and then also like him negotiating back in Korea with like the, I don't know, they have like an owner's meeting and it's basically like, look, there's nothing in the rule book that says it has to be nine humans on the field <laughs> in the Korean baseball league. And they're like, well, obviously it's implied, but, but, but then I, I don't know. They're also like, uh. <laughs> The leagues have voted. The commissioner wouldn't want to go against the leagues. Well, I, I, I don't know if you noticed this time with all because guys, it's all subtitles and stuff. Yeah. But but like the the reason they kind of like sway the vote was like, look, fifty percent of our uh, ticket revenue will share between all of all, you or yeah. whatever. You know, because we obviously it's, it's a weird situation for this first year just to see, mm-hmm. just as a test. And they're like, well, I do like money. <laughs> I can't turn something like that down. You're yeah. gonna have a packed house and you're gonna split it with us. Yeah. Also, casually mentioned Ling Ling's like forty five years old or whatever yeah, too, and I was like, ape. "Oh, I must have missed that the first time." I thought they were like, I, I, for some reason, I thought it was like Ling Ling and Wei Wei were like raised when they were both babies or something like I, that. I thought but... that too. I forgot the part where like he raised her for the first part of her life, but then sees her as his mother. Yeah, because they, they're yeah. like interviewing. Um... Uh, Sunny, the little, <laughs> the the joke is she's the dumb one, even though she's the oh, one who ends up yeah. running the circus while Ringmaster's gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sunny's like, uh, yeah, he's really stupid. <laughs> yeah, really dumb, dumb gorilla. Yeah. I didn't realize like how much Sunny had character until this viewing as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely. Guys, spoilers, we really enjoyed this movie, and we've enjoyed it the second time, too, knowing it was... It, it's, what, two hours and 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it something like that? It feel that it long. It really doesn't. Like, it almost felt as long as Ape did the other yeah. day. It was a tight 80 minutes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah good good to know there. Um, wait, so the plan is, like, the agents basically fit so I'm like, hey, you know, you go to Korea... Uh, with the money you make there, you can pay off the debt. And she's like, yeah, and I'm going to start the new Circus of the Sun so I can get the the stink of my grandfather's debt off of the circus. And he's like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. Oh, yeah, and during the owner meeting, like, yeah, they vote, like, 9 to 1 to, like, approve it because of the whole profit thing and blah, blah, blah. But the commissioner, he comes in, and there's, like, four guys holding him back. He's like, you son of a bitch! I fucking kill you! You, you, you do this every time! You're a bounty hunter! Because apparently what this agent guy does is he'll he'll bring in the big talent and like promote them mm-hmm. and everything in the Korean leagues but because uh, guys if you don't know sports Korean leagues I mean there's money there but it's not yeah. a lot it's the Japan leagues yeah. that are big J- money Japan like r- almost ri- rivals us for yeah. money Yeah yeah exactly and, that, and then uh it was especially gosh even now I think it's uh, unless it's like LA or Bi- <laughs> like if you get a chance to play for the you know Shanghai dr- Giants or whatever as opposed to the Milwaukee Brewers or whatever, you can almost make more money in the Japanese league. Uh, but, you know, Red Sox and Padres and all those, they just have money come out of their ass. But, but yeah, that, that's kind of the thing is like, you know, if you're, if you're really good in the Korean league, you can go to the Japanese league. And if you're really big in the Japanese league, then you can go to the U S and make all the money, all the Ichiro money, all the uh, Shohai Otani money, all the, <laughs> I'm dreading, the Hideo, Hideo Nomo money, you know, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, that, that's that, that's the agent's plan. Uh, of course, you know, Wei Wei and Ling Ling is just like, oh yeah, I just need to make that million dollars to pay off the debt and start a new circus. And of course the agent's like, a million? Shit, think ten. Think a hundred. Think two hundred, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, after the commissioner's meeting, you know, and everything gets approved or whatever, the agent calls Wei Wei back in China. And of course, Wei Wei, being a woman of business, is like, so is that contract signed? What the fuck's going on? What, what, what are we What are we doing here? But as she's on the phone with him, she's like, it's like nighttime. She's looking outside and she sees headlights heading their way. 
okay, attack positions, basically, yeah. like, all the, uh, the child army and stuff are, like, preparing, and, uh, you know, these, these thugs come out with, like, you know, baseball bats and whatever, and they're like, hey, we so come to get the money. they immediately tranquilize, uh, the one adult? I, I don't think that comes till later. This is the first time. Oh, okay, this is the first in. time. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah, there's the one adult guy, uh, like, almost like the janitor or something like the like janitor, that. I remember yeah. him having a name. But but so you don't think it's just a bunch of kids, you know, Thunderdome style or whatever. <laughs> There's one adult there, but he's, you know, in his 60s or 70s or something. Good, good old Chinese Buck Flowers is there yeah. to make sure, make sure everything's taken care of. But yeah, basically the, the thug guy shows up and, you know, the, the main thug guy, the one we're talking about that's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Uh, he's like, look, keep your money. We just want that gorilla there, you know, Ling Ling. Uh, and and the keys to this place and it'll be just fine er, er, oh that's right he wants the key to the cage or whatever like yeah yeah if you just give me the key to the cage we'll call oh, it square he wants both gorillas no he just wants lingling Ling this first time oh, okay yeah because Ling Ling's the one that'll, they'll make money and you know whatever but then uh, you know she like holds the keys out but then like drops it down a grate right in front of him yeah. or whatever like well that was really stupid of you and then she's like yeah was it though pulls out her whip <laughs> back bitches <laughs> and then like her child army makes formation around yeah. her um and just when you think you're about to see this epic battle between these like seven-year-olds and <laughs> and these guys with baseball bats <laughs> baseball is being flung out of fucking nowhere yeah. like 200 miles an hour <laughs> and it's uh lighting the the angry gorilla he just has a i don't know a barrel of them is just whipping them at these guys <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think in the in the commotion, like Wei Wei and Ling Ling, that's right. They like chase them off, and then Wei Wei and Ling Ling like fly out the next morning or something like that uh, to go to go to Korea and get everything set they up. They drive out. They're in that old beat up pickup truck. Did they drive all the way there? I swear they're like at the airport, right? No, I think they just drove. No, because they met him at the airport. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, well, the press and stuff. But we yeah, get yeah, the yeah. going away at that old truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they drove off the old truck, I guess, to... Because this is where we get Sunny. Airport. Like, Sunny, your name is Sunny, like the sun, not like like a, like a son, like, like, a, like a boy. Like a child, yeah. Um, you're so stupid. You better study while I'm gone. <laughs> and Sonny's like on the verge of tears and then just starts laughing and is like, oh, okay, this is, this is their thing. Uh, Wei Wei's got to be the, uh, the hard ass. The, the hard adult or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then that's right. As they're driving away, the kids are like crying and like yelling behind and they're like, good luck at Korea. Don't come back without the money. I just <laughs> yeah. thought that was hilarious. They're all bawling yeah. and you're expecting it to be a hard fault. They're like, don't come back. Damn don't screw it. this up it's Bring a once in a lifetime money. opportunity yeah <laughs> like, but like the first time i watched this i was like god way way is such a hard ass and then like i realized like it's just sort of all in fun like she yeah. she has to be the adult because they're a bunch of orphans yeah you can't can't have a bunch of bunch of orphans uh questioning them like <laughs> it's miami yeah. connection no but uh, <laughs> so yeah so they get to the airport and they're greeted by the agent like a whole bunch of press but, uh, but, yeah, basically it's just, like, a walk-by and the press are, like, trying to scream questions and it's like, oh, we just, we just gotta get them set up. We'll have a press conference tomorrow. Bye, everybody. And then they already have, like, the van that they're transporting in that says, like, Mr. Go on the side and yeah. has, like, a, a picture of Ling Ling, like, wearing uh, the, the uniform of the, was it the, the Doosan Bears. Doosan Bears, yeah. So, yeah, the next day at the press conference, um, yeah, they, they're just, you know, the usual questions back and forth, like, hey, you know, uh, wait, wait, how did you teach an ape to play baseball? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, meanwhile, the agent kind of like goes off to the side with the uh, teen doctor who's like, hey, so yeah, we did the x-rays of Ling Ling and stuff. And he has this like degenerative knee thing going on. I, I don't know how long it's going to hold out. I mean, he's a 45 year old gorilla, for God's sakes. Right. Like, and uh, you've already, uh, you, you already created quite a scandal when you recruited the top baseball player who also had this who happens to also be uh the general manager of the Dusan Bears yeah. now. Yeah. And, and 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 you see the general manager of the Dusan Bears and like it's it's basically like like good looking dude, like maybe thirty or whatever, but Oh yeah, yes, quite or, handsome. You know, yeah, yeah. He, you know, kinda like like the the Clark Gable mustache and yeah, kinda kinda look like a like Rick Yoon. Like like that kind of a guy. But anyway. But but he's like, oh, okay, look, who knows about this? Uh you and me and the X ray tech or whatever, and like all right, well, this is a secret between the two of us, and we'll get rid of the x-ray tech, you know, that kind of thing, right? 
And uh, well, well, I'm going to go to the press with this. Oh, what? You're going to go to the press and tell them that you were found dead in a canal? Yeah. Or that your entire family died in a house fire? It got fucking dark there for a second. <laughs> I'm like, is this a good guy? Like, in the beginning of this, you have no idea of this agent. Like, you his kind of think everybody's really. kind of a bad guy in this. Yeah, yeah everybody's got, a, got an arc, that's for sure. But yeah, yeah. so after threatening the teen doctor or whatever... Uh, we then cut to like the agent's house, and he's having Wei Wei and Ling Ling stay with him, which is uh, probably the stupidest idea in this entire movie. <laughs> babe, how would you describe his apartment? Um, a one bedroom apartment mm-hmm. full of very expensive things, including a thirty thousand uh, yen or. Basically, thirty thousand dollar tree in the middle of it. Sixty thousand dollar tree. Sorry, sixty thousand dollar tree. <laughs> yeah, tree uh, and, yeah, oh, and priceless and, orchids like yeah. everywhere, and I'm yes, like, and priceless you're orchids. bringing a gorilla. <laughs> oh, and a rifle. And a rifle, and like several boar heads and stuff, if I remember right. Uh, there was a boar head, and there were a couple of like different deer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, a lovely room of death. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we see Chekhov's rifle there for a bit. And, you know, wait, wait, she's like, look, I need, like, $800,000, like, or, I remember she said $800,000 or yen or whatever, but, yeah. but she's like, look, I need 800000 like, now to, like, I need pay off part of my debt. Day. Yeah, yeah, like, in the next month. And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 cool, we'll get the contract, don't you worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And then we cut to the, okay, so, <laughs> the way, the way, the way this movie was so tight, I was like, is his apartment, like, in the upstairs of the stadium. I thought that too. I thought it was like, or across the street or something. It's very close to the stadium because they just used the stadium as Ling Ling's exercise area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it'll be empty or whatever and he's just like running around or swinging on things. But, it, and it's always like, here, let me show you something. It shows them like walk out the front door and they're on the, the yeah. greens there. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But, uh, but yeah, so they're at the stadium talking about like, oh yeah, I'll get you a hundred million dollar contract. It'll be great. Blah, blah, blah. And then, like, Ling Ling goes, like, climbs up to the top of the, the Jumbotron, the scoreboard or whatever. And we get the first instance of this uh, this soundtrack that that's, like, the uh, the true romance music. The yeah. But it's, like, it's like the, the Korean Charles Band version of it. Like, it's just a little different. <laughs> you probably still get sued. But, yeah. Basically, you know, this whole, this whole thing, like, look. I gotta show you here first that, you know, your your boy can actually play and not, like, eat people's faces and stuff when he's thrown out or whatever. And then, you know, the big money comes when we go to Japan. And then the U.S. And then more, more, more! You know. Um, and she's like, yeah, cool, I like money. Don't we all? Oh, and by the way, your first game is tomorrow. And I'm like, whoa, hold the fuck on. <laughs> you haven't even fitted him for, a, for an outfit or anything yet. Like, you need to... He cut this the last minute, my friend. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the circus. Yeah, this is when the uh, the loan shark guys come back. This is where they like blow dart uh, as have run down as Egg Chen, yeah. uh, the the adult taking care of the kids or whatever. <laughs> and, Egg Chen. Yep. And then yeah, they they end up darting uh, Lee, uh, lighting and uh, taking him too because you know he has an idea like, huh? He threw that baseball really fast. Yeah. And this guy's going to be playing in the, ma- you know, the Ling Ling's going to be playing in the majors. Maybe, maybe he can be taught to be a pitcher. Hmm. Uh, so we cut to the first game. Um, and the first of about 15 times you're going to hear the Dire Straits songs, Walk of Life. <laughs> yeah, you did the Walk of Life. All right, so yeah, so Ling Ling goes for his first at bat. And uh, he basically just sits down at home plate or whatever. <laughs> and, uh. You know, the guy's, like, pitching, and, you know, he hits the first one, crack! And it goes foul right. And then the next pitch, crack! And foul <laughs> left, and then, uh, way, way, she pulls out her whip. She's, like, the first base coach or whatever, and she's like, hey, Ling Ling, get off your ass and do it right this time. So he's like, oh, all right. Sits up, sits up straight, you know, straight as a gorilla can, you know, kind of at least on its hind legs or whatever. Yeah, he, he stands up at least. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then pitch comes, crack! Oh, by the, by the way, his swinging style... Just, you know, right hand, just holding the yeah. bat like it's a twig or whatever, and just casually... <laughs> but, you know, it hits that fucking thing, and it goes right through the Jumbotron. <laughs> and then we get a little montage of, you know, a bunch of games or whatever, and uh, also a lot of, like, exposition where it's... 
the uh the, the announcers in this show are pretty good too all the, yeah. all the stuff they like go into for a couple minutes but uh, they're like, oh yeah, they, uh, you know, they got a waiver where Ling Ling ca- has permission to play without wearing a helmet, you know, so you see a gorilla head instead of a gorilla wearing a helmet, I guess. And during this montage where I, I, I noticed the like, you know, it all, all the CGI and stuff like matches because everything is fake. Like the background is a lot of green screen, like all the, the people in the crowd are kind of CGI, the gorillas, obviously. I mean, it's, it's decent. Don't get me wrong. Like it, it's, it's as as convincing as a gorilla playing baseball on a like large scale would be (laughs) like it's it's pretty good but it's like oh yeah obviously it's all fake except for you know a a couple of the main actors and stuff like that but i don't know it it looked pretty good (laughs) and then uh we also seen the montage like uh ling ling like run the bases and this is where you were like "Uh, so who's gonna like get in his fucking way if he's like running for running for home or whatever, I'm like, not me. No, <laughs> no not me. tag him out. Like, I, I commented specifically after one guy was, like, like on his base, like, ready to tag him, and then was like, nope, and, like, jumped <laughs> to the side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, of course, baseball's a, uh, a gentleman's sport, one of strategy and cunning. And so uh, they figure out, you know, we can just walk. <laughs> walk them, like, you know, yeah. like we used to do for Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire and all those guys that hit nothing but home runs, right? Well, except for he'll chase that ball down, <laughs> run like 10 feet out of the way, and smack it and knock it out of the stadium. Or if you try, like, throwing it behind him, he'll just spin around and backhand that bitch out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. Oh, that's right. They even try the one where they're, like, trying to, like, roll it, like, two miles an hour, like it's yeah, a bowling ball yeah. or something across the thing. And he just takes it, <laughs> like, swings and take, hits it like a golf club, basically, and crack right over the wall. Uh, so yeah, he's doing good. Um, sorry, I have to pause you for a second. Did you see the Brendan gay? Yeah, yes. 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 Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Brendan, one and a half stars for Dune 84. Yeah, he says it's an awful movie and it's boring. Boo. <laughs> Stop getting high first. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that's what were they thinking? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so they get a nice little winning streak going, you know, hey, Doosan might make the playoffs, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, uh, the agent guy, he gets a call from his assistant or whatever and is basically yeah. like, hey, we've got two offers from two different Japanese teams. Like, <gasps> like they were sent at the same time. It was weird. Like, they might be in cahoots or something. And he's like, yeah, we'll tell them both to fuck off. Or, you know, reject them both. Yeah, reject them both. Yeah, unless the owner of the teams or whatever, like, showing up at the games. I, I'm not even going to talk to any of them. I, this this is going to be a big money thing. We need to drive this price up as high. Well, where, what should I do with the scans of uh, Ling Ling's knee? I'll just lose them. Yeah, burn uh, them. That's, that's illegal. We'll just tell them that you never got it. Yeah. Yeah, Wei Wei, she gets a, a little package or whatever from China, and it's got a bunch of basically hostage photos of the kids, from what I can understand. Like, the thing is, like, like most of them were like hostage photos, but there were a couple where it was like they were looked like they were playing or something. I don't know. It was kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. It start yeah, it started out. But I don't know. yeah, but then there was a like like a broken little camcorder in there, like the you know the view screen or whatever was like broken off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It started out with like pictures of them just like playing. And then it, like, went to the hostage... It slowly turned into hostage vid- photos. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it was a photo of, yeah, the, uh, our main, uh, um... Lone shark. Lone shark like, face all bloodied and bruised, <laughs> like, with everybody. And then, yeah, the bro- broken camcorder. <laughs> yeah, so then, um, you know, Ling Ling, he goes with the agent or whatever, because they got a game. And Wei Wei's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be, be, be there a little later. Got to yeah, uh, you know, gotta take care of some things first, and of course, yeah. agents like, yeah, hey, yeah, cool, whatever. This this guy knows the routine. Uh, but she, there's a little video tape in there, or you know, a little high eight tape or whatever the fuck, and mm-hmm. she puts it in and plays it. It's a mini DV, and you know it. Well, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> All those different formats in the two thousands. Who knows? Uh, but uh, it puts in the video, and it's basically uh. <laughs> it's the the lead loan shark like trying to do a hostage video but then uh lighting starts whooping everybody's ass well lighting's chained in the back and while he's like uh 
while the main shark is like, and I'm going to need the money, and I'm going to hate to have to start killing orphans and selling off this ape, you just see Lai Ting, like, break his chains, look around, and then all hell and breaks rah, loose. Rah, rah. And, and yeah, this it's, is it's actually... the most subtle, just he's like, he's just like a tink, tink. Oh. <laughs> 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 And you see, like, it's it's all, obviously, like, wire work or whatever with all these guys being, like, slapped yeah. around and thrown around. But it's it's pretty damn convincing. <laughs> like, you see it, like, coming, like, at the camera and then flying off screen or yeah. up against a wall and shit. <laughs> and, uh... in 3D! Yeah. And then it does, like, the Blair Witch thing and goes to static for a bit. <laughs> um, And we see a little later, you know, we get a little bit of the game where... The, the agent's, like, acting as the coach or whatever. Like, he's got a whip, but he doesn't know how to use it. And he's like, ling, ling, uh, hit a home run. He and... whips it and he whips himself in the face. <laughs> yeah. I think he whipped, like, another one of the coaches or yeah. the umpires or something, No, I think too. He, he whipped the, like, first baseman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not going good. And, Li- and you know, Ling Ling's, like, getting str- struck out and stuff because he's just, like, yeah, like, it, I guess it's, like, a whole timing thing with when, uh, uh, Wei Wei cracks the whip or something. He yeah, knows yeah. to swing and knock it out of the park. I don't know. It's it's a weird thing. But uh, the video comes back later, back in the room, and this is the part where like the uh, the loan shark's like, "Look, I, just, Dude, I don't know why you don't just broken, pay me back. Yeah, like two black eyes. Everybody looks beat to hell, and uh, Li Ting is being is like hung by his ankles. Yeah, from yeah. He's like cuffed behind his back <laughs> hanging from that way Which, and stuff kudos yeah. to whoever got that ape up there yeah right i'm assuming there's a lot of guys pulling him up but uh but he's basically like why won't you pay me that's how these things work and he's like pulling teeth out and stuff <laughs> yeah, like look look what i've done to, I, what have i done to deserve this i didn't loan you the money and nobody's paying look, me back I, I need the money and i don't have anything to sell so if it's not paid in three months, I'll just have to sell these kids. I don't want to do it. You're making me do this. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, after I think uh, Ling Ling strikes out or whatever, uh, you know, he's like, where's, where's Wei Wei? This, this sucks. This is boring. I don't know what I'm doing here, you know, in a crowd of like 100,000 or whatever. And so he just kind of... Runs across the field, goes up top of the jumbotron, and the you know the umpires eventually just like call the game because they're like, look, you, we we can't have Derek Jeter running across the field <laughs> right. climbing the jumbotron. And... <laughs> what is this the 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 steroids era? Yeah, right. Mar- <laughs> fucking Sammy Sosa running out there climbing the damn jumbotron. Mark McGuire throwing shit at helicopters. Yeah, helicopters called in. <laughs> can't have Mark McGuire slapping nets away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the, the cops are called it, yeah, it wouldn't be a Nate movie if there wasn't a fight with a chopper. I mean, that's just yeah. how it is. And, and they're like trying, with the chopper. And they fire the net at him and he just like swaps it away and you know, he just starts running and jumps off of the jumbotron. Everybody's like, Oh like super slow mo, like, oh shit, he's gonna crush like eighteen Ooh, people. We get a shot of uh, the agent. No <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he grabs like a, I guess like a support wire or whatever to yeah. the Jumbotron, starts climbing down that. And, Which um, kudos to that support wire. Oh, yeah. I yeah, don't think it yeah. was uh, made to hold an additional 700 pounds. I mean, you'd think so. Oh, and the other thing, when he was at bat, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Uh, when he struck out or whatever, like uh, Ling Ling, like the bat left his hand and went into the stands and like oh, knocked somebody the fuck out. Oh, killed a guy. That I mean, killed that guy. <laughs> it's resident and pay him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, so he's going to get in some trouble for that. Right. Eventually. Oh, also wing wing back at the uh, apartment. She's, I don't know, going through the trash or whatever. And she sees the uh, contract that the agent signed that was yeah. like for $300,000 or whatever. And, uh, you know, apparently she reads Korean or whatever, too. Uh, oh, just... yeah, she, she said she speaks and reads Korean because uh, when they went to one province, that's what everybody spoke mm. uh, with, with the traveling circus. Mm. She said that, All like, right. in the opening interview. All right, I must have missed that. My bad. I only just caught it this time. Yes. Yeah, uh, eventually after the chopper, like, I don't know, <laughs> Dam- Damir starts launching nets into the crowd or whatever the crowd's like hey th- th- you know th- they're just kind of chanting to you know send the choppers away and so they're like all right fine fine send the choppers out of here we'll just 
send everybody home, wait them out. The game's over anyway. We forfeited, whatever. And then we get like some uh, news exposition about the verdict that, uh, you know, um, Ling Ling can only play home games. And um, yeah, yeah, but basically he's in trouble. But they didn't like outright kick him out of the league. It's basically just like, no, it can only be home games where, you know, he's not responsible yeah. for taking out a whole city. Like they don't want him going exactly. King Kong or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, nighttime rolls around, and uh, the agent's still there, still trying to get him to come down from the Jumbotron. He's like, <laughs> for fuck's sake, please come down! <laughs> uh, but Weiwei shows up, and uh, she and he's like, where the fuck have you been? And he's like, uh, Weiwei's like, uh, my name's not on this contract. Where's my $300,000, asshole? And he's like, that's not how these things work. And she's like, liar! You fucking liar! You fucking liar who lies! Who lies to all of us? And he's like, yeah, I'm kind of a dick. I Like, you should know that. I'm an agent. That's my reputation. <laughs> they call me a bounty hunter. Are you hitting the chair? I am not. Okay. I, okay. I'm not touching the chair. Okay, you're just getting really close. So I was... that, that's why I, I, part of why I took the shoes off. So okay. okay just... That I would, like, feel if I gently touched it with my toe. Yeah, just making sure. That's all. Just. No, no, no I, I just from my angle, it was looking like you were, like, no, wrapping was... it. And I'm like, you know that shakes this, like, a lot, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to sorry i'm just it's trying to see i might be said it was a little bit tight there at the end Aww. so i was just getting the, the blood back into my toes oh, no! <laughs> so all right so <laughs> uh yeah so we go back to his apartment and um that's right uh uh him and uh ling ling go back to the apartment way way yeah. she's throwing a fist so she's She's out I somewhere. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the streets. Giving hand jobs for crack or whatever. I don't know. But <laughs> she's a fifteen year old girl, Steve. Don't talk like that. Eh, whatever. But <laughs> she's younger than your niece. Yeah. Well, you know. Also, I could see. I could see our niece. Uh, careful. I could see our niece training a an ape and being in charge of a seven hundred pound creature. Yeah, and running a circus at the same time. Yeah, oh yeah, full of, full of other orphans. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You know, the agent's like, oh, fuck, you know, I, I think there's something mentioned where, like, the, the club d can, like, cancel the contract if they want or whatever. And so yeah, like he's, like, all time. worried about it. And, uh, so he just starts getting drunk. Him and, him and Ling Ling start drinking sake and uh, eating his, you know, <laughs> thousand dollar orchids, orchids and shit. Yeah. And then, yeah, basically, he, he like, what, as he's getting drunk, he's like, look, I, I got I got a plan for this. We'll... We'll start doing commercials and shit, you know, to show that uh, you're gentle and can have mass appeal and stuff. And then, yeah. and then the league will let you back in. It'll be great. Like it's a one time thing. Well, they'll, they'll get it. Yeah, we'll we'll get you on one of those uh, morning talk shows. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, say after this happens, we cut back to the circus in China. And I think this is where the loan shark uh, starts getting the idea. Uh, you know, the, the lighting starts throwing balls again and like breaking TVs and yeah. shit. Yeah. And that's where lighting's like. Huh? Or, or uh, the the loan shark guy likes having the idea. Yeah. He's like, hmm, maybe if I befriend him, uh, I can turn him into a pitcher and blah blah blah. Like you know, takes him out of the shackles and all that. And yeah. I was expecting him to be me, torn apart. Lock but... me in his cage, and no matter what I say, don't let me out. Yeah, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, see, so yeah, in the morning, Wei Wei comes back, and uh, you know, Agent and uh, uh, Ling Ling, they. They, they they they're hungover. They they just slept side by side there in the front room, and uh, yeah, the agent wakes up and his tree is just like fucking destroyed. Like his it was a sixty okay. grand. The tree. lone shark is Lin Xiao Gang. Lin Xiao Gang. Lin Xiao Gang. But yeah, so you know, he's he he wakes up, sees the basically like the trunk of the tree is still there, yeah, and he's like ah oh, fucking like grabs his rifle. And, uh, you know, Weiwei's basically like, whatever, bitch, serves you right Get, getting a gorilla drunk. What the fuck were you thinking? Right? You let him drink? This is on you. Mm. We then cut to the Lemon Tree show, which appears to be like the, uh, like, like an Ellen type talk show with this cute little Korean chick or whatever in a little ballerina dress, basically. And she's like, welcome to Lemon Tree. And our next guest is Mr. Go. And then, like, yeah, Weiwei comes out with uh, Ling Ling. And Wei Wei just starts singing, and then uh, Ling Ling starts dancing with the host and shit. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, after watching Nope or whatever, it was kind of like, right? uh, this could turn really quick, and he's a lot bigger than a chimpanzee, you know? Uh, but it also is, like, intercut with, like, 
slow-mo highlights from earlier in the movie of like him like playing baseball and stuff again i'm like okay i guess uh anyway the crowd goes wild and uh he starts doing a bunch of commercials including this uh this treadmill or whatever where they're like <laughs> oh my gosh mr go so large can that treadmill withstand it like how, yes how much does he weigh we weigh it's uh 300 kilograms you know 660 pounds for those who don't know um oh and- man and look at the and look at our treadmill holding up under his weight as he trips falls forward breaks it yeah bre- breaks off. the arm things on the side and stuff and it's just like oh fuck <laughs> Yeah, so that happened. That doesn't go quite as planned, but whatever. They're still doing commercials or whatever. Um, and then the two Japanese owners uh, have basically sent him a telegram saying they're going to come during the playoff game next week. Um, and of course, agent guy's like, "Look, we can't, we can't let the t- the you know the the, the Dusan Bears know, the general manager and all that know, because that'll be the end of us. Like, we gotta we gotta go around them basically to sign this contract, kind of thing." And. Uh, yeah, so it's the playoff game. I I don't know. There, there's a whole rule where, like, if the pitcher stands there for 12 seconds, then it counts as a ball. So they start walking him that way so he can't even, like, golf him off the ground or whatever. And uh, the crowd just starts tossing bananas in protest, like, boo, fucking lame, boo. Uh, but then word starts getting around that the Japanese owners are coming in town, and everybody's like, but nobody knows why they're here. And I'm like, why do you think they're coming to watch a gorilla play fucking baseball? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, so, yeah, it's like game two of the series. Um, the first team, um, yeah, the first team offers like, hey, we'll pay $30 million for the transfer fee and then $15 million a year uh, for Mr. Go play for us. And it's like, well, I'll have to think about it, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, and at the end of game two, uh, Ling Ling, like, hits a home run to, like, win the game. Like, hits a grand slam uh, to give Deuce on the win. And uh, the agent, like, leans into the, the owner guy or the GM for the Japanese team. And it's like, can you put a price on that? And I was expecting him to go, yes, that's actually exactly what my job is. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, basically his plans to obviously start, like, a bidding war between the two. And he's telling Wei Wei about it. Um, and she's like, oh, okay, cool, because I, w- I still need that fucking money, like, yesterday, right? But then something's wrong with Ling Ling. He's, he's acting funny there in the, the, the tunnel by the locker room. He's, he's acting like his leg hurts. Yep. And he sits down. And then we basically cut to him, like, what was it like an equipment room or something? It was, yeah, like, like a... It looked like a goddamn like boiler room almost that they kind of set up oh, to like they, check him he, out or uh, um, Our agent says it's the back storage room of the vet's office. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The vet's office. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but yeah, they're checking out like, oh yeah, this uh, Ling Ling needs knee surgery and, you know, like as soon as possible, like his uh, crew, uh, I think it was like his ACL or whatever is like going out and they're like, well, well, what, we can't do it now. We're in the middle of the series. What can we do? He's like, well, you can dope him up on morphine and give him a leg brace and hope that helps. And he's like, good. I think we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, but then we cut to like a scene later and they're like but, actually doing the surgery and stuff. And Yeah, yeah. He, he can do a temporary know. fix. Uh, but if he plays again, he's going to tear it and it'll be like permanently damaged. Yeah. But if he doesn't finish the season, then they don't get any of the money. Yeah. 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 Uh, me- meanwhile, their uh, their rivals, the NC Dinos, yeah, uh, they're they're like losing their shit at the end of like game two or whatever. So they're like, what the fuck can we do? This goddamn gorilla just hits grand slams every time he's up or whatever. Uh, but then Lone Shark guy shows up and he's like, have I got that idea for you? <laughs> you know that kind of thing. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, during the whole like surgery thing with. Uh, Ling Ling, there's, uh, like, Wei Wei just kind of, like, storms out. There's drama for whatever reason, because, I I, I don't know. Uh, whatever. There's some shit going on that, like, the agent says something like, look, th- look, you know the gorilla better than anybody, right? Or, actually, I don't think you know that gorilla at all. Like, you, you just, you know, he doesn't know you, or, you know, he knows you, but you don't know him, or blah, 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 and she storms out, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, back at uh, the house or whatever, though, you know... Oh yeah, that that that's where the whole talk goes down. It it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> drama, drama, drama. Yeah, gotta, gotta go into the third act, right? 
Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, over the news, uh, they see that uh, Lai Ting is like the new pitcher for the NC Dinos. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so there's the, the bidding war between the two Japanese teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, basically the the other team that comes in, they're like, look, we'll pay you twice what uh, that first team will do. We just need to, you know, see, you know, we just need to do a medical exam and make yeah. sure he's on the up and up because, you know, we're investing like $200 million or whatever at this the point. The biggest contract ever, uh, ever offered anyone in the history of Japanese leagues. Yeah. And, of course, they're like, shit, we can't do that. I've got an idea. So they go back to the first team and talk to their GM, who I have down as uh, Japanese James Spader. <laughs> tell me tell me that guy didn't remind you. Oh, that guy, like, oh. Spader, like Spader and Star, Stargate. Kind yeah, of to- to totally. I was actually thinking the, uh, the, 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 the one who makes superhero costumes from, from uh, The Incredibles. Incredibles, because yeah, he's got the yeah, haircut. Yeah, but... a little bit of the, the glasses and stuff, yeah. too. Yeah. But, uh... But yeah, basically they go to him. They'll be like, "Look, we'll take your offer, and it's half what this other team is going because you know, mm-hmm. we, we, I, I feel like we can trust one another." And uh, yeah, but I need you to waive that medical uh, thing because you trust me. Yeah. Look, I've had the same person cut my hair since I was eight years old. Trust is very important to me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the last two games, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, Ling Ling has been having surgery and stuff, so now the series is tied up two and two, going into the siding game five. It's a best of five series, Demo Elimination Tournament now, but uh, best of five. And so they're trying to get Ling Ling ready, and uh, basically the like doctor guy is like, "Look, here's here's morphine. Give him twenty cc's if he's not doing too good, but just do it as a last resort." I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's a goddamn gorilla <laughs> playing baseball. I don't know what to tell you. And then they, it comes to them, like, setting up basically this triage center in the middle of the locker room. Like, putting all the, the benches together and, like, making it so Ling Ling can just lay there as they, I don't know, pump an IV into them or some shit. Yeah, they're they're gonna come clean. They're gonna show everybody, alright, Ling Ling is, uh, really sick. But after we sign this contract, just so we can at least get some money out of it. Yeah. Since we're gonna be doing jail time. Mm. Yeah. And then Wei Wei like admits like, look, I I know I don't speak to Ling Ling, but I, I I don't know what's going on. He's not listening to me anymore. Blah blah blah. And it's like fucking wah. Like try thinking about Ling Ling. Anyway, mm-hmm. <laughs> so we, we were like in the seventh inning, and the uh, agent he uh, he he basically got locked out of the suite that uh, uh, Japanese Spader is. Uh, you know the yep. the first team is out. Because they're like looking at this new pitcher guy that's lighting the past couple games who's been throwing it so hard at the catchers, the catchers fly back like 20 feet. And yeah. like they, <laughs> they just have different people coming in with every pitch to stop that ball. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but then, uh, you know, the agent, he's persistent. So he takes the balcony route like out of his suite yeah, to the next jump, door suite. Yeah, tries to jump across, doesn't, like, doesn't quite just make it. barely yeah. makes it. He's yeah. holding on. Yeah, but then, uh, yeah, you know, he, he, he's still denied. And the owner in the other box sees it and is basically like, yeah, I'm not going to talk to you either, buddy. Sorry. And then, uh, wait, wait, she's in the locker room, like, with Ling Ling. And she's watching uh, some documentary that's about her and Ling Ling. And, like, it shows, like, footage of Ling Ling, like, saving her as a baby. And talking about, like, family. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the heart, yeah. some bonds can never be broken. And Saving blah, blah, blah. her life while she was unconscious during the uh, the earthquake. Yeah. <clears throat> Meanwhile, like, the, uh, the the Doosan Bears, like, their owner and general manager and stuff come down, because uh, that's right, the general manager, like, uh, fucking narcs on them or, or whatever, and is like, no, go down the locker room, see the, the ape can barely walk, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but meanwhile, um, we see that uh, James Spader, he basically, you know, the Japanese Spader, he signs Lai Ting. Or, you know, he's play, he's with uh, the loan shark and is basically going to sign Lai Ting. But, so the other team goes to the agent and is like, look, we want to talk because we want to have, uh, we want to have a gorilla because like, they're our big rivals. You know, we want to be able to, you know, match them somehow. We'll pay whatever you need. Blah, blah, blah. He just needs to, like, we, we just need to win this game. And then we'll accept all your terms, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not sure how wise of a decision that is financially, but whatever. It's yep. r- r- rivalry and honor, I guess, right? So now it's the ninth inning. 
and they're calling in Lai Ting as the closer, you know. Bring in the lefty, that kind of shit, right? There's three outs, and then uh, Dusan's going to lose, right? Meanwhile, down in the locker room, uh, you know, the general manager and the owner and stuff, they're arguing, and uh, way, 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 she's still watching that documentary, blah, blah, blah. And, and basically, they're, like, trying to decide, like, whether they're going to put him in the game or, you know, send the agent to jail or whatever. But they're like, you know, put, put him in the fucking game. Otherwise, we're calling the cops is basically what it breaks mm-hmm. down to at that point. Yep. Yeah, way way she finally like get realizes uh, you know r- realizes what she needs to do and she's like get up get up Ling Ling we need to do this you've never disappointed me before you're not gonna start now like that kind of shit you can do this we gotta get you off these drugs yep and Ling Ling like gets up and stumbles and starts going towards like a table of Gatorade or whatever but yeah. falls over oh. and the general manager and owner they're like all right well this is fucking pointless and so they leave the locker room but then uh, the agent comes in. And, um, basically he like has a, is like writing way, way a check. And is like, look, this kind of blew up in my face and I'm so sorry. Here's a check. Take it. You, you and way, you and Ling Ling can go back home. And she's like, well, what if I don't want to? And he's like, well, it's like, you know, remember why you like baseball in the first place. You know, you start at home, but you return home. Uh, Just like your, your grandpa or whatever used to tell you, blah, blah, blah. I get the little. I'll, I'll take care of everything. I'll go to jail, whatever. You know, tears are exchanged. Drama, mm-hmm. drama, drama. But uh, Ling Ling, he's up and ready now, and he's ready to fuck shit up. So he walks oh. out there on the field. And did you notice the blank check? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the, yeah, 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 he, yeah, he was like, yeah. hey, here, take this check and, yeah, you know, blah, blah, you know, head off. I'll, you know, <laughs> I was right. He said, like, sign it for as much as you want. I'll take the heat, you know, whatever. <laughs> they got to come get you in China. Good luck, right? But, uh... <laughs> But yeah, anyway, Ling Ling, he's ready to fuck shit up. So he goes out, yeah. walks out on the field, and you got a gorilla at bat and a gorilla on the plate. This history in the making. And Ling Ling's like doing the chest bump shit. And uh, that first pitch comes through. Strike one. And, you know, Ling Ling, like, he does the swing and a miss, but he's like landing like on his face or whatever. Because, you know, he can't support himself with just the, the one gimpy leg or whatever. But you see him pushing, getting himself back up. And the next pitch comes. <laughs> oh, same thing. Strike two. Blah, blah, blah. But this time, the leg brace that was on there is like crumbled down. It just falls off. I, didn't he hit hit it with the, like, didn't he beam him? I don't think so. Okay. I, I thought it was just from him falling over. And I, I, I think uh, Ling Ling like hit it with the bat after. Because it was like okay. broken. He's like, ah, get the shit off me kind of a thing. But yeah, but he, he still gets back up. And uh, at this point, Lai Ting is, like, dancing around, like, he, he's uh, ripped his shirt off or whatever. Yeah. Like, he's like, woo! Well, he about... was already, like, loafing around, because he wasn't, he he doesn't give a shit about baseball. Yeah, 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 he's fucking angry. He's just, like, surrounded by a bunch of people, just, ah, ah, ah. But, yeah, he, he's got the shirt off now. He's, I don't know, doing whatever. And then, uh, you know, Li Ling starts walking towards the dugout, and the announcers are like, what's he doing? Oh, no, he can't do that, blah, blah, blah. He's heading towards the dugout. And everybody's, like, kind of looking down, kind of sad, like, wait. No, he's switch hitting. He's just on the other side of the plate. And then they go into this, like, five-minute tirade of, like, how is he able to do this without Wei Wei's uh, directions or instructions? He must be thinking on his own somehow, no, which no, is completely ridiculous possibly. because he's a gorilla and can't possibly do such no, things. No, you watch so. Nat Geo, you know, they just look yeah. things through repetition. <laughs> yeah, they just like keep going on for like five minutes while which it's like... Which is the, the most accurate thing about baseball. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, five minutes between pitches. Gotta listen to Joe Buck hypothesize about bullshit. Ugh. Oh, he's in football now, too. <laughs> Him and Aikman are the fucking worst. <laughs> Steve, like, screams at the TV when they come on. That's right, Joe. I am the fucking worst. I like he's got a little Tim Gunn to him. Yeah, right. That's really good. Oh, God. Tim, Tim, if Tim Gunn and Heidi Klum were oh, <laughs> commenting shit. on football games. Oh, Steve would Oh, that'd be the Swifty stop. channel. I'd fucking watch it. <laughs> yeah. What in God's name are they doing down there? <laughs> Well, Tim, this is a game called American Football. Uh huh. And they run around in very tight pants. I do like the tight pants. <laughs> and they throw balls at each other, and then oh. they hit each other very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Intrigue. <laughs> 
and eventually they will all die at age 47. As long as everybody scores, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so Join us for more Project Runway. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, eventually that third pitch comes along and... Uh, and I was thinking, like, maybe, like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. We, <laughs> we find out that Ling Ling was left-handed the whole time. <laughs> Ling Ling in Chinese means lefty-lefty. But, but no, he's, he's still got, like, in his yeah. right hand, just he, like, backhands it as that pitch comes in. And boom, oh. the fucking bat and ball just fucking explode. They both burst into <laughs> just toothpicks. Yep. And then <laughs> everybody's kind of saying around, like, what what do we do? Oh, like, I love what's the, the situation? Like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do. And then, uh, like one of them, like starts like reading from the yeah. rule book or whatever. Like, if the ball explodes, they must pick up all the pieces of the ball to tag the run. Run! Like they start reading down, like run, Ling Ling, yeah. run, blah blah blah. And then you see like the entire team of uh, the the NC Dinos or whatever coming in and like picking up every piece of the yeah. ball there in the the, the infield and like and trying to fly as uh you know ways like run, Ling Ling, run. And, you know Ling Ling's got like the gimpy leg and stuff still, so he's kind of like stumbling along. It's taking him a while, uh, but then yeah, they gather up all the pieces and he's gonna dive at home plate. <laughs> And I'm like, this is where they lose one of their players for good. Right. Uh, but no, he's like just reaching out the glove or whatever to tap him or whatever before the plate. And he slides well, they in. They both jump to slide in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're both yeah. sliding in. But yeah, they're not going to like land on top of the guy. You know what I mean? But they're sliding in, sliding in a little bit of dust. And the umpire comes in. And you hear like the announcer like, well, obviously his hand is under. So he must have tagged uh, uh, Ling Ling. And so he's out. And the umpire like looks. Wait. What's that there? It's a piece of the ball in the infield still. Oh, safe. Safe. Ah, oh, Doosan wins. Doosan wins. Ah, oh, this is like a scene out of a movie. <laughs> like, yeah, thanks, commentators. Uh, the, now Doosan's going on to the championship round. Like, you know, it's it's basically all of um, Major League again. Like, hey, they're not even winning the World Series yet. They just won the playoff series. But, uh... You know, Ling Ling's, you know, he's he's there lying on the ground, like, not moving. And Wei Wei comes running up. And, you know, it, the stadium's, like, setting off fireworks and stuff. And I'm like, both of them be setting off the fireworks at the uh, the team that just lost. But, you know, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. But then you were like, well, they got the fireworks. So, you know, they're, they're going to go bad in a couple of months. Might as well use Might them, Might as well right? use them. Babe. <laughs> it's a game with two apes. They were doing fireworks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Also, I'm impressed with uh, the ape's ability to handle the fireworks. Well, babe, hold on to that thought. Because, uh, you know, uh, eventually Ling Ling does, like, wake up and, like, see Wei Wei. And they, like, hug a little bit. And the uh, the owner of the team is like, all right, fine. We won't call the cops because we won the championship. Cool, cool, cool. But then lighting comes in going fucking Draymond Green on it. On, like, the entire team and, like, knocking motherfuckers out and slapping them so hard they, like, go into the stands and shit. Uh, and he tosses Ling Ling in the fucking stands, too. And yeah, uh, he it, backhands the loan shark guy. Yeah. He's, like, trying to calm him down. And, I don't know, uh, he starts going after Wei Wei, but, you know, she pulls out the whip and, you know, like, whips at him. And he just catches that shit in midair. And he's yeah. like, oh, fuck. Oh, and they both look at each other like, oh shit, this was an option the whole time? Yeah. And then the agent, like, jumps on Lighting's back, and he's like, oh, you instantly regret this, as he's, like, tossed. <laughs> run, wait, wait, run! Oh, uh, but then Ling Ling, he gets up, and he tears his shirt off, all of his clothes, and they're ready to fucking fight. So they all start, like, yeah. attacking and, like, rolling around there in the infield, and blah, 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 you know, it's, it's going, going. And uh, uh, Lighting though he gets the upper hand, and he's uh just about to go after Wei Wei, <gasps> and then boom, sideswipe the fucking agents like driving a uh one of those uh oh my god the 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 carts that they like roll injured players off on. Oh yeah, the golf cart. Yeah, yeah. basically, just, <laughs> and knocks Lighting over. And he's like, come on, Wei Wei, we got the fuck out of here, and starts driving, and Lighting's like chasing after him all over the field. By the way, this is probably the least believable part to me. I don't believe that the cart would crumple, wouldn't just completely crumple hitting a 700 pound gorilla. I mean, yeah, probably, but, you know, um, what happens? Oh yeah, Lighting starts like, 
I don't know, finding random balls on the field too and start throwing them at them and it like hit the windshield. And oh, because the, 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 the players were throwing, the other players were throwing them at him. Oh, that's right. Stop. That's right. Trying and to it's like, like, stop giving him ammo. <laughs> yeah. And then they yeah, get the agent gets popped in the forehead. Well, I'm like, well, he's fucking dead. Uh, but no, he's like knocked out and way, ways like driving for him. And I don't know. Uh, eventually it, the sprinklers come on and then there's like a whole big fight between Ling Ling and Lighting. And uh, Ling Ling gets the upper hand and is just about to, you know, fucking face puddle lighting. Like, you, yeah. know, you know how apes do. You've seen the end of Congo, right? <laughs> and and Wei Wei's like, no, stop. This is all my fault. This never would have happened without me. Uh, lighting didn't do anything. And I'm like, um, I mean, he kind of. It's, <laughs> it's not Lighting's fault. Lighting is a more aggressive type of gorilla yeah. and he shouldn't have been in the public eye ever. Yeah. But yeah, so eventually like, yeah, Ling Ling stops and it's just like, cool. And they walk away. Oh my God. Uh, Steve, this dog just farted. Yeah, I'm I believe gonna it. Die. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> that goddamn swamp water he's been drinking out there. Steve. Can the fuck lock- have you been feeding this bitch? <laughs> Can we lock him in his crate tonight, or is he going to suffocate? Oh you got to make sure our door is open. Right, so. <laughs> I mean, the, the weather's a little warmer. Maybe we can air it out. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ, I can't see. Um, <laughs> My eyes are literally watering. Yeah, we're... we're uh, oh, hold man. On. Hold on. <coughs> All right. All right, there we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, where are we? Oh yeah, so they're walking away. Uh, yeah, the contracts are voided, the cops are called, but it doesn't matter because Ling Ling and Wei Wei are friends again. Uh, then we see just like news coverage like, oh yeah, the, uh, agent guy was arrested for fraud and, um, you know, the loan shark guy was deported back to China, but it's okay because Ling Ling's surgery w- was okay and the Doosan Bears won the series. Yay! Cut to four months later. Um... Uh, and we see the uh, the agent. He's like released from jail after four months and has pack in prison, I guess. Uh, but he's got no license. He can't do baseball stuff anymore. Cool, whatever. Seems fair, right? Yeah. So he goes to his home, and uh, he finds I don't know pieces of it, the pieces of his rifle or whatever in uh, Ling Ling's bed or whatever. You know, it's like uh, the, uh, the the rotten branches of his once glorious yeah. tree. And then we cut to the circus in China, and yeah. uh, basically Wei Wei and Ling Ling are like, I don't know, doing fucking soup kitchen style serving to all the kids or whatever there. That's how you feed this many kids. I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Feeding like 40 kids or whatever. But uh, Ling Ling, he's a little hungry, so he's stealing himself a couple potatoes here and Some there. Some big potatoes. And Wei Wei's like, no, stop that. We gotta feed all these kids here. <laughs> stop. You know stealing food isn't allowed. <laughs> and so he, he's like, Fuck you, grabs a couple of potatoes and goes running off. And she's like, I'll whip your ass, blah, 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 chasing him around. But then, <gasps> the agent's there. He's back. He, he said he would come back. Or, or oh, that's right, the uh, agent, like, tosses uh, Ling Ling a baseball or whatever. It's the one that all the kids signed when she was leaving. That's right. Okay, that that's why it was that. That's right. It was like it's the, the red, red and one. yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I kept thinking it was an apple in a lot of scenes. Yeah, or, or like, is that like a softball? Like right. like a practice ball or something? I don't know. But yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, but, and then uh, Ling Ling, he goes in for the hug. And then commences to beating the shit out of the agent, it looks like. Yeah, not really, but like play, like tackling and like yeah. holding him to the ground with like one finger <laughs> as the agent's like, let me go, let me go. Ah, it's like, God, it's been, I know it's been four months, but Jesus's ribs are probably still broken. Yeah, exactly. He's had a rough time in prison, guys. Yeah. And then, yeah, roll credits. Wait. Six months later. Six months later. We see uh, Lai Ting is in a zoo habitat. <laughs> And then, what's that? A football? He, like, starts glancing around, and he sees the loan shark guy, like, showing up in front of the habitat, just maniacally laughing. Like, <laughs> I mean, he was singing the, the oh, love he? song. He he kept singing that song, oh, like, yes, like, if I could love you for eternity. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, That's he right. can't show, yeah, he, he has, like, his hat down, and then he, like, is singing, and he pulls it back, and then, then he starts laughing. Yeah. And then Lighting picks up the football and does the football end zone dance and punts it. 
Yeah, or he's he's like running around. He's like knocking over all the like uh, yeah. stone parts of the habitat and stuff. And I'm like, fucking sequel. Yeah. And yeah, roll credits to like the fifteenth time of a uh, walk of life. Guys, that's uh, a walk of life. That's Mr. Go. Do, 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 do. Maybe we kind of spoiled it earlier. Would you recommend this movie? Oh, 100%. This okay. movie's great. This, this is pretty good. And, and I think it was rated like G or PG or something. I think it was PG because of a little blood or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's... I, I've seen a lot worse movies. Like, especially oh, of the ape genre, but... I would go... I'll go ahead and say I think the Ice Age movies are more violent than this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get, get you like a pig or whatever. <laughs> I, and, and guys, if you have to watch a movie where it's like... There's nothing in the rule book that says blah blah blah. These are so much better than the Air Bud and yes. uh, most most extreme primate. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, spoilers. We'll be probably watching that one later this month. What? But most valuable primate. Uh, you know, uh, I, don't know I, I haven't seen Gus. The isn't that the the <laughs> football the, uh, kicking donkey mule, or whatever? Your yeah, donkey. Mule. yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, God, <laughs> well, I haven't seen that since I was a kid, though. Coming next week. No. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'd recommend it. Again, it's on Tubi, Amazon Prime, Freebie, Sling TV, all sorts of shits. Yeah. Our dog's digging in the carpet now. You uh, need to try out, buddy? Yeah. You won't be disappointed when you get there. Couldn't go see you leaving. Uh, so yeah, that note, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Oh. Oh, but when we come back. Sushi. Sushi, buddy. The fuck, Sorry, bud. Bud. Yeah, we know it stinks. It smells like you. You're the one that shat yourself. He didn't. <laughs> buddy, lay down. Sush. Lay down. Hey, hey. You're okay. It's okay, buddy. You're all lay right. down. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, it's a good boy. Good boy. He's trying to fuck Fuck, him. I can still taste this fucking fart. <laughs> I know, it's awful. God damn it. <laughs> so yeah, that note, take a quick commercial break. Oh, but when we come back... We'll crack a window. We're gonna... <laughs> fucking drink some beer and try to wash this out of our goddamn more beer fun facts and what we learned from mr go Fuck. you can't even smell I, it's in here it's it's in my brain Babe, i think he was laying on me while that happened why take one vacation with the family when you could take all of them with royal caribbean you don't just go to the beach you visit a private island and race down the tallest water slide in north america you don't just go for a road trip you atv and zip line through the jungle you don't just go somewhere new you rappel down waterfalls and discover ancient temples because this isn't just any vacation this is all the vacations come seek the royal caribbean ships registry bahamas Hey everybody, are you looking for the perfect stocking stuffer for the holidays? Do you like supporting the arts? Well then you need to check out untidyvenus.etsy.com, the top one-stop shop that always pops her top. Ah, are you a fan of dinosaurs, snacks, dinosaurs made out of snacks, movie monsters, unicorns, cats, dogs, rats, shrimp, Pokemon, tie-dye, paracord bracelets, paracord dog leashes, enamel pins, coloring books, block prints, watercolor, pet portraits? Buttons, magnets, stickers, bottle openers, artist trading cards, or really anything else that's awesome? Then stop on by untidyvenus.etsy.com. That's a goddess who's bad at housekeeping. Etsy.com. New items are popping up all the time, so be sure to follow her on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Patreon at Untidy Venus. Or visit her website at izzycreates.com for the latest. Did I mention the Snackosaurs? How about Gary the Unicorns? Untidyvenus.etsy.com. The goddess who's bad at housekeeping. Check it out now. Hey everybody, this is Jason. And Jeff. And Blake. And we're the History of Bad Ideas podcast. And if you like hearing uh, geeks talk about Fisto from He-Man. Or zombies, or dragons, or zombie dragons. I was given copy to read, but it's a piece of crap. So if you just like any geek or any fun stuff, just listen. We drop every Wednesday on iTunes, Stitcher, Tangent Bound Network, or... WeBeGeeksPC.com Oh god, I'm out of here. And remember to wear a coat. There's so many podcasts out there. How do I find the one for me? For so long, I've searched for podcasts all over, but none of them seem to fit my needs. Where is my Nick Cage Pissing Fire podcast? 
where's my monkey tickling? I couldn't find it anywhere until I found everything I learned from movies podcast with Steve and Izzy. And now I get to hear about all the monkey tickling I want, baby. So many podcasts out there are all talk and no Congo. That's why I listen to everything I learned from movies. Greatest living actor? Nicolas Cage, of course. That's why I listen to everything I learned from movies. One-liners, plot holes, gratuitous boobies? Fun fact, that's why I listen to everything I learned from movies. See if everything I learned from movies is right for you at EILF Movies. That's everything I learned from movies on Twitter, Facebook, or Patreon. Free on all the major podcatchers. Hi, this is Dana Gould, and you're listening to Everything I Learned from Movies on your radio, phone, computer, television, or record player. And we're back! Oh my god, Steve, those are the greatest ads that have ever added in the history of adding! Oh, yeah, she said it! Oh, they get smellier every week! Every goddamn week. Oh, babe, I don't know about you. I'm a little <laughs> fucking thirsty. I gotta wash... My fucking eyes are watering. What have you done, dog? Anyway... From Founders Brewing, we have their the breakfast out. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Founders, breakfast out. Devil chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. Roasted coffee, sweet and decadent. Where the classics never go as style and new legends arise. 8.3% alcohol by volume. Woo! Fuck yeah. You're welcome. And my top? Oh! His top. Nice. And... The poor. Oh, light Ooh. does not penetrate this beverage. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. This has a gorilla colored head on it. <laughs> gorilla colored and he's stinky. No. Oh, yeah. It's a very Ugh. fine foam. Oh, god damn. I, 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 mean, I, I gotta just drink it. I can't smell. Oh. I'll tell you. It's got coffee and dark chocolate notes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, fuck yeah. That is delicious. This is why we're here. Yeah, a little bit of like the coffee, coffee notes, roasted. Yeah, it's like chocolate in there. If it was light truck, nice we would never know based on the amount of skunk in the air. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> so much better, this eight per, 8.3% per eight booze that I'm drinking. Yeah. That's Founders Brewing Breakfast Stout. Not just for breakfast. I love me a good breakfast stout, I mm. won't lie. Hells yeah. Well, babe... Would you be interested in any fun facts about this movie? I don't know, Steve. Would they be fun facts? Super fun facts? Because of fun, fun facts. Well, let's find out. All right, babe. Steve. Rotten Tomatoes. There's one critic review. Ooh. Is it positive or negative? Positive. It sure is. Fuck yeah. What about the audience score? Unfortunately, fewer than 50 reviews for this movie. What? But almost every single one of them is positive. Oh, shit, yeah. Like, I, I think there was two negative ones when I was just kind of scanning through. And, you know, whatever. Like, uh, there's nothing in the rule book that says a monkey. Shut the fuck up. It's probably like, ooh, why, why aren't they speaking American? Mm, yeah, a lot of that stuff. But, all right, how about this? IMDb, out of 10, what do you think the score is? 8.3. Actually, 6.1. Really? But I think I also think there was only like a couple hundred reviews or something like that, which is weird. But yeah, guys, uh, what do you think the budget for this movie was? Oh, I'll give you a hint. It's twenty two point five billion won. I have no idea what that is. Exactly why it's like it's a hint. Uh, basically, it's sixteen point seven million U.S. Okay, alrighty, that makes sense. How much do you think the worldwide gross is? And yes, it does have a worldwide gross. Whoa. Um, um, 200 mil. 26.8. Woohoo! So, eh. It did all right. Yeah. We just got to get it out there. Get it more Get more reviews out there for it. Only 50 people on uh, fucking Rotten Tomatoes have done a review. That's, that's disappointing, guys. <laughs> Uh, this is the first Korean movie to use the Dolby Atmos sound mix. Ooh. Unfortunately, that's really the only other fun fact I got for this movie. There, there's not a lot on it, guys. Uh, we, we It has to be more well-known. Guys, check it out. Um, well, babe, we've reached the most important part. <gasps> what did we learn from Mr. Go? Go, 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 Rilla. 
I learned that definitely if you're picking your gorilla for whatever sports team, you definitely want to get more of the lowland gorillas that are uh, mm. the lowland mountain gorillas. They're they're just more they're more docile. That makes sense. Also, you don't steal baked potatoes from Weiwei. That's right. She'll whip your ass. She will whip your ass. Uh, I learned baseball is a game where you leave home and return home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also learned medical exams are very important when uh, evaluating uh, prospects for your sports team. <laughs> Greg Oden comes to mind when I think about that situation. But, uh, poor guy. No, that's really about it. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, yeah, babe. Thank you for watching this movie with me. Oh my god, thank you for watching this with me. And uh, are you on social media at all? I am. You can find me everywhere at Untidy Venus. It's like a goddess who's bad at housekeeping. Steve, where can we find oh. you? Oh yeah, we can find us everywhere on all the major <gasps> podcatchers and everything I learned from movies. Or hit us up directly on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Blueski at E-I-L-F Movies. That's everything I, I learned from movies. movies. That's right, guys. We're... In the heart of April, uh, we just got back from our amazing trip to L.A. and Vegas. Um, obviously, we recorded this beforehand, but guys, there's going to be little mini episodes coming out. Special in-person episodes on shows like Superiority Complex, Home yeah. Video Hustle, whoever, whoever else we can find. Probably uh, Real Fills. I don't know. We're, we're meeting up with a bunch of people. It's going to be great. Fuck, I'm excited. I'm oh, I'm so excited. I need a vacation, guys. It's It's been almost six months. My Sorry. fucking mother-in-law Sorry. is fucking crazy. God Sorry. damn it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, it's okay babe. It's okay. Acting! <laughs> so, so, anyway, until He's, next time. <laughs> Steve's doing the, uh, what is it, where they become the character? Method uh, acting? Method acting. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Anyway, next time, I'm Steve. And I'm Izzy. And this is Everything I Learned From Movies. Have a good night, everybody. Steve, is it the dog farts or is it the mother? Uh, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> About the same stink. Where did the water run?